In this video presentation, I will be sharing on the extraction and separation technique on polymer sort aqueous two-phase system. So these are the list of contents that I will be focusing on. We we'll start with the introduction. Previously, extraction techniques are solely based on conventional liquid-liquid extraction using organic solvents. The purpose of this extraction is to isolate biomolecules such as proteins, enzymes, polypeptides, and viruses. However, there are some limitations such as least solubility in organic solvents and the tendency towards denaturation. Therefore, an alternative liquid-liquid extraction would be the polymer sort aqueous two-phase system or known as the polymer sort ATPS. In short, by combining polymer and salt. Unlike conventional methods, water is mainly used in these systems for the separation techniques, which comprises of 80 to 95% in both phases. The benefits of such systems are low cost, low toxicity, biocompatible, simple process, and good mass transfer. However, drawbacks are incompatible with high ionic strengths, environment, and causes eutrophications when ammonium and sulfate salts are disposed of. These are the common types of polymer salt ATPS pairings. As you can see, PEG or known as polyethylene glycol are most commonly used for polymer due to low cost, non-toxic and non-inflammable reagent. Among the salts, citrate is much preferable due to non-toxic and biodegradable. Moving on to the mechanism and working principles. This is an example for one-step batch extraction of protein molecules. First, the phase system is prepared by adding polymer and salt solution, and subsequently, mixture to be separated, which is the complex crude protein, are added. After mixing, phase separation can be done either by settling under gravity or centrifugation. The mixture will be distributed into the top phase and the lower phase after some time. Next, the most soluble materials and impurities will tend to partition towards the lower phase, or known as the more polar region, the salt-rich phase. Whereas protein will partition to the top phase, the non-polar region, or known as the polymer-rich phase. So a better understanding of the partition behavior of biomolecules by exploring several important parameters. So these are the important parameters that need to be taken into consideration for the partition efficiency, such as molecular weight of polymer, the concentration of polymer and salt, system pH, effect of temperature, and lastly, the hydrophobicity and the addition of salt. So these are some of the byproducts that can be extracted using polymer salt system. DNA and nucleic acids are treatments for cardiovascular diseases, autoimmune diseases, and cancer cells. Plasmid DNA that are extracted from chromatographic method results in low capacity uh, in large molecules and high production costs when scaling up. This table shows that using polymer salt aqueous two-phase systems, the recovery of plasmid DNA from cell lysis and alkaline bacteria cell lysis can be achieved above 67%. Uh, next, drugs such as antibacterial and hormonal growth promoters are used in animals uh, to enhance the weight gain, feed efficiency, and to prevent diseases in food producing animals. The most known animal drug foods are meat, milk, honey, and eggs. However, uh, the purpose of this drug residue extraction is to, av to avoid health hazards to human consumption. So, polymer salt ATPS has successfully extracted drug residues from water source and milk source, which contributes to the high yield concentration, about 99.2% from water, and ranging from 85.6 to 97% of concentration from milk source. So, these are the references, and thank you for listening.